First of all, do you believe in curses? And second, if you do, can a gift from an ex be cursed? <laughs> mm. That is the question we are here to answer. And I'm pretty sure I have the answer. <laughs> because if you should keep a gift from an ex when you're in a new relationship has been a topic of discussion mm -hmm. in my current relationship recently. I told you guys before, I think we've had this discussion, that way back in the day, I got a watch from an ex-girlfriend. This is in college when everybody's immature. Um, and uh, I had a girlfriend after her that every time she would see the watch, she would make a comment about it or we would get into some kind of insecure argument about it. So one day after we came home from happy hour, I'm buzz, she's buzz, she's complaining about it. I took the watch out and then literally took a hammer and <gasps> just smashed it. But, wow. Okay. I just lost it. Uh, 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 <laughs> that was it. That was Argu it. Argument's over. Yep. You win. Maybe, <laughs> may maybe I should have followed in your shoes because... I think somebody has gotten God involved. That's how, that's why I think we are in this situation. <laughs> somebody is praying. I don't know if it's my ex <laughs> or if it's my lady. Somebody is praying. So this all started over a robe. That's how it started. And I had a robe that I've had for years. And I'm not really a robe guy. I don't buy myself robes. But I had a robe. I had one robe. So I guess at some point in our relationship, my lady must have did the math and said to herself, <laughs> He don't buy himself robes. So is this one of those just like long cotton robes that you'd get at like in, in a hotel? Or yep. is this some slick, silky smoking jacket? <laughs> is it, is uh, it the one that says Mo Mitch uh, on it? I'm, I'm, getting, there. I'm get, getting there, Tommy. Let me tell my story. Please. Well, I've, I've seen it. You got I'm, an ice I'm, tub. I promise you I got the answer. <laughs> I promise you. So, so it was, it was... It was a janky robe, but it did have my name on it, okay. which I think also alerted my lady that he ain't bought this for himself. <laughs> okay. no. It's not something he would do. Why couldn't you just say that's the robe that you wore inside of the ring when you were fighting back? <laughs> Shut up, because I'm better than that. That robe wasn't all that, I'm going to be honest. So she asked me, where you get that robe from? Just curious. So I told the truth. I ain't got it from my ex. I didn't think anything of it. She just kind of said, okay, mm -hmm. and walked away. Yep. Now, she didn't get an attitude. She didn't tell me to throw it away. She didn't do any of that. How but, often do you wear a robe around the house? Eh, once, a couple times a month. Okay. Not often at all. Yeah. So what she did, though, which I thought was really fly, she didn't bring it up one time. She went and brought me a new robe <laughs> that's 40 times better. Oh. <laughs> like, that was right. I which, love that energy. That's what that's. So I, I got it. Yep. Like, uh -huh. I knew what time it was, men, right? Men play checkers. Women play chess. Bingo. Which, <laughs> that robe is the robe that Tommy is referring to that I brought to the Ice Challenge, which clearly is a really nice robe. Yeah. So, I guess, at that point, that was her way of saying, throw that trash out. You no longer need it. <laughs> and I got the message. And I did. I thought we were done here. Right? So then, I started to think to myself, anything else I got from my ex, I should probably just get rid of it. Before we have another scene. Or no, you got to bring it up. She'll just start buying you stuff. <laughs> uh, this, this watch from my ex. She gets you a Rolex. You're good. I didn't think about that. I didn't want to push it, though. Right? I didn't want to push it. So then we have um, the Solomon Brothers come in and we start talking, going through the jewelry that we have. Mm -hmm. and, and that's when I realized, like, all right, I didn't throw everything away. <laughs> I, threw, I threw like 95% of the stuff I had from someone else away. I kept a ring and I kept a projector. Now, the projector, I completely forgot about. That was odd. I forgot that that was a gift, but it's literally like, it's my projector, mm -hmm. right? So the ring breaks first out of nowhere, which is that's why when we were here, I was like, let me find out if this ring is real, because <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to throw it away right now. When it broke, I assumed it wasn't real. They said it was real Damn and it. was worth something. Damn it. So I'm like, well, okay, well, I'm getting it fixed. I ain't throwing it away. So I got it fixed. But what I didn't realize is why did the ring break? At that time, like right after we had this robe thing and I was like in my mind, all right, let me get rid of the ring. Let me get rid of everything. I didn't get rid of the ring and it broke. And then all of a sudden I'm having people over on Sunday. We all having this big football day. People bringing food. They bringing guests. They bringing snacks. We got music. It is lit in there. Soon as the first game come on, five minutes into the game, the projector breaks. <laughs> I have no projector. I have no TV. <laughs> I have 10 people in my home. We all were supposed to be here to watch football, and now I have no TV. Was one of the 10 your girlfriend? No. Okay. <laughs> she wasn't there, so she didn't do it. She had nothing to do with it. And it literally, like, as we're watching the game, you can see the projector kind of start, <laughs> like, almost like fighting for its life. You can see it, and I'm like, no. 
And then it <laughs> just goes black. No. <laughs> and everybody's just sitting there like, uh, Mo? Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm like, I guess we're moving into my dude's house. Because <laughs> I ain't got no backup plan unless we all going to be in the other room. So I, I'm, it just was odd to me that we had this conversation about the robe. Then my ring breaks. Then my projector breaks. The only two things I had mm. from someone else. And I wonder if I'm mm. cursed. So maybe... I- these were the last two items or I was going to suggest just a purging. Like, don't even wait for the other things to break. Just get rid of them all now. But now it's done, right? It's yes, clear. That, that was it's it. Done. The, projector, no well, the house is clear, right? Well, the, the ring. The ring. I still have the ring. Because you fixed it. Because I fixed it. See, I don't think you're cursed. The objects might it's be cursed. The object. Yes. Yeah. Um, but what if I'm wearing the ring? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to sell the ring. Man, you yeah, got- I was going to say, you know what takes away a curse? Cash. Yeah. <laughs> Money. I, I got to go sell it. I wouldn't even mess. I would just sell the thing, man. Get it out of here. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Dude, you've already been hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> I think she prayed for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's either get rid of the ring now or it's going to go, quote unquote, missing someday anyway. Yeah. You might as well get cash for it. Touche. All right. Well, that'd be a fun date night for the two of you. Yay, pawn my ex's ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Burt Show.